You have the right and the power to do whatever you choose. Yes, God. We submit to your divine will. Hallelujah. We pray, Father God, that you will accomplish your purpose in yes. each of our lives. Yes, yes. God, you are God. You are God. And beside you, there is none other. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord, we have fallen our way here. We had to overcome many things, sometimes even ourselves. Oh, God. Just to be in your presence. Just to be here, God. Hallelujah. But Lord, you had to overlook us. Yes, you did, God. Yeah. Hallelujah. You had to forgive us. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You had to find the good that you put in us. Yeah, yeah. To allow us this moment in your presence. Thank you, God. So God, we pray that we don't waste it. That we will praise you and honor you. Yes. That we will give you glory. Yes. And in the process, Lord, we will be drawn closer to you. Yes, Father. More of you and less of us. Yes. Glory. That you might be glorified. Yes. We give your name praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. It's in the name of him who is yet alive, Jesus, who is the Christ. We do pray. Amen. 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 Give an honor to Almighty God. God Almighty. For everlasting unto everlasting. He is God. So no matter what you or I, or no matter what we're going through, He is God. It's hard and it's ugly and sometimes it makes us cry. It makes us laugh. Life is just like that. You never know what it's going to bring or take away. Yeah, but right. if we keep our eyes on the master, yeah. he'll make a way yes, for he us. Will. Yes, he, will. he is a way making He's a way -making. God. He's a way making God. He's in charge of it all. He's in charge of it all. Yes, everything. Even the stuff yes. that makes us cry. He's in charge yes, he well, of it well. all. Right. There, is, there is no pain greater than his love. He's in charge of it all. And we give him honor in this place today. I give honor to my bride and Vivian Hill. Bride, thank God for, for her. Amen. 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 stabilizing force in the life that God has given me. I thank God for that. And for these preachers, I thank God for them. Who they are and all that God has, has done. I thank God for, for their gift and their giftedness to this place. And for each and every one of you who made your way here today that we could worship and glorify our God together. I, I appreciate your being here. I, I give you honor and acknowledge your presence. I realize that you didn't have to be here. Yeah. You had other choices. Yeah. You had other alternatives. But, but, but here you are that we can worship and glorify God together. So I do appreciate your presence here. Yeah. But as always, I'm going to invite you and encourage you to come on and see Jesus. Right. Yeah, this life is crazy and they're about to drive many of us crazy with it. But if we can learn how to see Jesus, he'll make a way for us. He'll make a way out of no way. If we can keep our eyes on him, he'll get you out. The world wants to tell you you're stuck, but you're not stuck. You just can't find the door. But Jesus says he is the door. All we have to do, all we have to do is have somebody show us the door. If we can just keep our eyes on him, he'll get us out. Amen. Amen. So if you have your Bibles, come on with me to, to the Gospel of Mark. It's a, it's a story that, that many of us have heard of before, the story of, of Legion. Okay, Pastor. Chapter 5. We're going to read verses 1 and 2, then we're going to jump down to verse 17. Mark chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. It says, they came to the other side of the sea, to the country of the Gadarenes. And when Jesus had stepped out of the boat, immediately there met him out of the tomb a man with an unclean spirit. Jesus stepped out the boat, he stepped out the tomb. Verse 17. And they began to beg him to depart from the region. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed with demons begging him that he might be with him. And he did not permit him, but said to him, go home to your friends 
and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and how he has had mercy on you. And he went away and began to proclaim to the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him and everyone marveled. Yes. Praise our God. Yes. Just for a little while. I want us to consider together the thought, truly thankful. Yes. Truly thankful. Well, but before we get there, there's just one thing I want to, I want to point out to us uh, to help us get, get along with. This, this is for free. Don't start my sermon meter yet because this, this don't count. Turn, this don't count toward my preaching time. It's, it's just something I just want to, I want to share with you. If you notice, it says that, that what came out, the man who came out of the tomb had an and one unclean spirit. But when he got ready to get in the boat, it says out of the one that, that the demons or unclean spirits had been cast out of. See, sometimes when, when we are pre-Christ, we don't know how bad we really are. When we're living, when we're living apart from Jesus, we think one thing's our problem, but our problem is really so much deeper than that. It's just, there's, there's more to what's holding us back than what we can really see. And what we need is Jesus, because he's the one who's the only one who can really see how to set you completely free. Yeah. See, yeah. we think if we get over the one demon, we made it. But we don't realize there's a legion of them that's holding us back. Yeah. Yeah. So just for, just, just for free, if you look at this thing, stop, stop trying to diagnose your own spiritual failure and connect to Christ and let him fix who you really are. Yeah. He can set you free from everything. Because some things you think are supporting you are actually there holding you back. But that was for free. Amen. Amen. That was for free. So let's talk about this, this thing called uh, uh, truly, truly thankful. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're in this season. Uh, we just came through Thanksgiving and we talked about how Jesus is the reason for the season. And and we 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 hear folk tell how how he's able, but we don't always see how he's able because right. we've been struggling with some stuff for a while. And, and, and sometimes we've prayed about it, we've fasted about it, we've tried we've tried all kinds of religion. We tried Christianity, Islam, Buddhists. We've tried a whole bunch of stuff. But here we are in the church, and we're saying, God, do something here. And he he still seems like he ain't done nothing. But I still got this suitcase packed full of all this stuff I want to leave behind. But it, it seems to follow me wherever I'm going. So is he able or not? Maybe he's able for your stuff, but my stuff seems to be greater because it won't go nowhere. And sometimes we, we get in a situation where we start questioning, is God able? But, but I want to say to you, it's not an issue of God being able, it's an issue of our thankfulness. Oh. It's an issue of, 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 of our, our being grateful. Grateful for what? Let's, let's talk about it. You see, we, we, we use thanks like it's a noun, like it's something we give somebody. Thanks is, is really a verb. It means, it, it means it's an expression, it's something you do. See, you, you, you give thank, you give you, Thank you give, you give it, it it's something, it's an action. Look it up if you don't believe it. It's, it's a verb, it means it's an action word. Because what thanks is, is an expression of gratitude. Thanks expresses a deep emotional feeling that you have because you feel gratitude about something or, or gratitude towards someone. So your gratitude expresses itself in what we call thanks. So it comes and the gratitude comes out and it looks like thank you expresses. That's why we have minimized our expression of thanks to thank you. We think because we tell someone thank you that that's good enough. But what we're really doing is just saying, I, I see what you did. Thank you because it's polite. I've been told to say thank you. But we have a disconnect between the expression and the emotion. We don't really feel the gratitude that is inside of us that someone has done something for us. We just say thank you because we're supposed to say thank you. We've been taught to say thank you. So when we say thank you, we give it to them like a Hallmark card. But, but, but when, when you really feel gratitude, what, what happens is your, your thank you carries with it an expression. It's something that you do. It's an action. It's, it's a way that you let someone know that you really feel it. Grateful. There's, there's gratitude down inside of you. Now, now, gratitude is simply saying that you're in this position where you now appreciate or recognize the value uh, or what someone has done 
you want to say to them, uh, I, I, I appreciate who you are and what you've done. Why? Because I know that you did it out of goodness. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right? But now, but now, now, gratitude is really standing on the shoulders of something else. Right, okay. Gratitude stands on the shoulder of appreciation. Okay. Appreciation is simply what I say. I know you didn't have to do it. Right. I know that you did it from the goodness of your heart. Right. I know that you, I, can, I appreciate the quality, the, the value of who you are apart from what you gave me. You see, so if I can't appreciate you apart from the quality of your gift, then I can't have appreciation. And if I don't have appreciation, then I can't have gratitude. And if I don't have gratitude, I really can't express thanks. So but we've been taught, we've been shown, we've been shown, we've been shown that what, what we do is we usually say thanks for the quality or the value, the, the volume, the size of the gift. So, so if somebody give us a big gift, we get excited. Right. Somebody give us a little gift, well, we act like, ah, okay, yeah, it's all right. But why? Because we have, have divorced the expression of gratitude right. from the emotional being, state of being of appreciation. Yes. Yes. So when, when God gives us something that we don't think really answers the question, we have a hard time appreciating God, and therefore we can't say thank you for what he gave us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, can, I, can prove, I, can, I can prove it to you. Yeah, I can prove it to you. If your rent is due, your car note is due, and it said, said it's $1,400, you got to pay your rent. It's $1,400, and you ain't got much money, but, but it's $1,400, and, and somebody come up to you, and they give you $10. They say, here, this is, this, is, this is for your rent. You look at it and say, what am I supposed to do with that? Because my rent is fourteen hundred dollars. All you gave me is ten dollars. See, because what we have done is we have measured the quality based on the size of the gift in comparison to the issue that's at hand. We look at the problem and we look at what comes and we say, God, that's, that's worth or it's not worth my appreciation. But the real way to do it is look at it this way. My rent is $1,400. I ain't got a whole lot of money, and I don't know how I'm going to pay my rent. Somebody come up to me and say, here's $10. And still me look at me and say, what am I supposed to do with that? I say, you didn't have to give me that $10. You didn't have to give it to me. It might be your last $10.
So he, he, he decided. He decided that I'm going to him. Now I just, I just, I just want you to see what I see here. That the man didn't wait till he got better. He didn't wait till he gave it to him. He didn't wait till he stopped getting high, stopped smoking, stopped sleeping around. He didn't wait till he stopped. He didn't say, I got to fix it, get it better. I got to work. I got to work on me first. He didn't say none of that nonsense. Because that nonsense is what got him in trouble in the first place. What he said was, what I got to do is I can't waste this opportunity. I see the value of the one who just got out the boat. Out the boat. I see his power. I know his authority. And he went. But how's that thanks? Don't forget. Thanks is an expression of the gratitude that's built on appreciation. All right, Pastor. So if I'm over here appreciating the one who just got the boat, I'm glad I now have gratitude. I'm grateful that he comes into my region. He is now accessible to me. I said, thank you, God, because well, I didn't have opportunity before, but I got an opportunity right now. I didn't have a chance before, but I got a chance right now. You wasn't close before, but you're close right now. Thank you. You ain't gave me a thing. You ain't said a word. You haven't touched me. Talk to me. Spit on me. Call me out. You've done nothing to me and for me yet. But now you're in the region and I can say thanks. Yes. How do you say how do you say thanks? How do you say thanks? Gee, what did he do? The Bible says that when he saw him, he ran home. Okay. And kneeled. Well, yeah. And worshiped. You see, that in your Bible is really an expression of worship. Okay. If you look in the Old Testament, it's primarily two words, Toda and Yoda. And it simply means to give thanks or to, to, to Yada is to express the Torah. So you have Toda and Yada, both for expressions of thank you, but it's represented by praise. So it uses praise to say thank you. In other words, if you don't just say thanks for a blessing, you start to die. You don't want to go nowhere. You don't want to move. You want to be close. 
with you. Jesus. See, you really, you really love him. See, when you can appreciate the fact that you were crazy in that. And he put some clothes on you and put you in your right mind. You want to sit there and learn all you can. God, I'm in the right mind. Will you teach me some sense? Will you talk to me now? Help me understand what to do now. And the Bible said that happened. And the people ran off and told the crowd, told the folk what Jesus had done. They came back. And they started begging Jesus to go. Jesus, leave. Get away from here. Jesus, will you get out of here? And the man, the man started begging Jesus to, to let me go with you. Yeah. You see, when you really, when you really are grateful. Because you appreciate Christ, yeah. you want to be where he's at. Yes. Yes. You ain't mad when it's time to go to church. Come on. You ain't upset when it's time to read your book. You don't you, you don't get you don't you don't you don't get enough of that's enough about Jesus now. Let's go to the club. You, you, you don't get enough of that. Wow. It ain't just getting your ticket punched. It ain't just showing up long enough to say, I've been there, I've done my duty. When you really, when you really are grateful and appreciative of who Jesus is, you want to be with him. You want to go with him. And look, 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 you don't just want to go with him. You want to go with him against the flow of everybody else. All his homeboys, all the folk he grew up with, all the people who knew him, they did what? They said, Jesus, go. He said, well, if you put my Jesus on, I got to go with him. If you put my Jesus on, I got to go. You see, because he's willing to take a stand against the popular voice, against the popular opinion. He's ready to take a stand for Christ against those who we know and know him. He says, I, I, I'm i different from y'all. Y'all want to get rid of Christ. I want more of Jesus. How so? Because he began to appreciate we appreciate what he's done. He got gratitude for who he is. Then guess what? You now, you now want to be with him. You see, because true things got very little to do with the gift. And have everything to do with the giver. If you only can say thank you because somebody gave you something, say thank you for this. Then you miss the whole point. Have you ever been in trouble? You ever, you ever, ever been, been stranded? You know how you gonna get there? Somebody show up, and I don't know what I'm saying. Thank God you're here. Yeah. Yeah. Did anything happen like that? Yeah. Well, look, this is what you just said. You didn't tell the person who showed up, thank you. Yeah. You said thank you to God because he cared enough to send somebody for you. Yeah. 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 See, that's that. You, 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 you say your, your thanks is expressed to the giver, yeah. not to the gift. Yeah. So when we spend all our time thanking God for the house, the car, the job, the money, we miss it. Because we think we, we're talking to the gift. We need to be focusing on the giver. And it's God. I, 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 I appreciate you, God. Gratitude, God. Because why? Because what you've done. And, and so the man, the man, the man says, let me go. Let me go with you. The Bible says he begged. He prayed. He pleaded. He prayed. Let me go. Let me be with you. I want to be with you. Now, the Bible says that Jesus used pretty strong language. You see, the, the language that's written in the Bible is really pretty strong. In English, it kind, of, it kind of gets weak a little bit, but it's really pretty strong. Jesus said, now, Jesus turned him aside. He said, oh, you stay here, cast him away, push him away, put him to the side. Mm -hmm. What? Right. Mm -hmm. I want to go with you. And you put me over there somewhere? <laughs> put me in the corner? Yeah. I want to be with you. Come on, Pat. Jesus strong language to put him on the side. You ever felt that? Mm -hmm. I tried, but Jesus was didn't work. Okay. I tried to go, but it didn't, it didn't happen for me. Come on. It felt like it felt like I couldn't move. I didn't know which way to go. And, and why? Because we don't know how to handle. We can't remain faithful in disappointment. Mm. Ah. 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 The man is able to remain faithful mm. while he's being dis he's disappointed. Yeah. He wants to go. Ah. He can't go. He, can't. he wants to be with Christ. Let's see if I can get him. He wants to get in that boat. The boat that brought Jesus to him. He won't get in that boat and go with him. Well, well. Jesus says no. no. But to make matters work, preachers, the man was there during the whole conversation that Jesus had with me. 
Egypt. Okay. Yeah. The man was present. Yes. And, and he heard. <laughs> and he watched Jesus answer the prayer of the demon. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. The demon prayed. Don't send us out there. Please let us go into the pigs. And Jesus let him go with the pigs. Yeah. Jesus answered the demon's prayer. And now here I am. One of his with you. I'm saved.
is your response well. to God who blesses you? Mm. You see, an expression of thanks costs something. Yes. Oh, yes. If there is no sacrifice in my thank you, Ooh. then the thank you is really not grounded. Go ahead, Pastor. If I if I don't come and have a sacrifice, see, because part of the word gratitude implies that I recognize your goodness and I stand at the ready. Appreciate and to respond in kind. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I don't appreciate and respond in kind, ready and be ready to respond in kind, then I really don't. Uh, I really don't have any gratitude. I just have narcissism. I just have selfishness. I have privilege because I. Legion was his master. 
Legion told him what to do, how to do it, stay in the tooth, how to live, where to go. Jesus showed up and put Legion out and became his master. Now Jesus is telling him, go tell the people what is done. Legion had the man focused on himself, killing himself all by himself with nobody else. I don't, I don't know what they 
Trust him. That's how you get true thanks. Amen. I so appreciate you, God. Thank you, Lord. But that appreciation wells up in me. Mm. <laughs> in the emotion of gratitude, because I know you didn't have to do it. Yes. And because I'm so grateful, God, I give my life to you as an expression of thanksgiving. Yes. Yes. I got God, you are. Mm. This, what we're going to have today, mm -hmm. in many circles, called the Eucharist. Well. The word in the testament most often used for thanks come for the word Eucharist. And it means an expression of gratitude for grace received. Come on, Pastor. So when we come here to remember, it's an expression of gratitude for grace remembered. Grace received. Yes. So will you will you offer the Eucharist to God today? Yes. Will you will your life be the Eucharistic offering? Did you say God? My life is an expression of gratitude to you. Hallelujah. For grace received. Hallelujah. That's true thanks. It's not just a word. Yes. It's not just a praise. Thank you. Yes. It's an expression of our being. Yes. God bless you. Let's stand. Yes.